Thanks for listening to our daily Bible reading devotional. Today's lesson is from Exodus the 20th through the 23rd chapter entitled, Why Are You Always Telling Me What to Do? Why are you always telling me what to do? <laughs> Ever heard that? You know, children say that to one another and actually a lot of people in the world as they get older. Nobody's going to tell me. Well, you read the scriptures and especially our reading yesterday in chapter 20 through 23, a lot of telling what to do from God. As a matter of fact, you look there in, uh, in Exodus uh, 20 through the 23rd chapter, you find about 22, thou shalt not, and more, thou shalt. And you think, you know, people look and say, why are you telling me what to do? Sometimes we get this idea of God's commands that there's some kind of arbitrary thing and we forget the purpose of God. You know, God loves us. He desires that we seek him first, that we can have everything we need as we spoke of yesterday, but also that we can have that heavenly home. I mean, he, whenever sin came into the world, he provided a way. He said that the the seed of woman would destroy the power of the devil in Genesis 3.15. And that's the story of the Bible. Well, you look and we find that as you examine those thou shalts and thou shalt nots, there's something that stands out about them. If you look at it, you notice that each one of them, as a matter of fact, if you just examine the Decalogue first, the Ten Commandments, you find the first four deal with the relationship of me and God. He wants that to be right. He wants us to put him first. The next six deal with the relationship of man to man. He wants us to realize that we ought to have this relationship one with another that's proper. We don't want to mistreat others. You know, in the book of Matthew, the 22nd chapter, in verse 36 through 40, Jesus was asked by one about what is the great commandment in the law. And Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And he said, The second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. You know, as I read again in chapters 20 through 23, as a matter of fact, throughout the scriptures. And I find all of the things that God is telling me to do. I realize that just like the children of God, they came out of the bondage of Egypt, a parallel to us coming out of sin. And they had a promised land before them. He said, if you're going to do this, you need to do it realizing the relationships that you should have. Whenever you come out of bondage, whenever you and I come out of the bondage of sin, We need to realize that God says, I want you to act right towards me, towards one another, and towards yourselves. That's the law and the prophets. And even more so when you get to the new covenant. What a great and wonderful thing it is to serve a God who wants me to have an influence upon this world to say, yeah, I'm going to do what God says because it makes my relationship with him, with others, and with self that much better. Thank you for listening. Hope you have a great day, and you will if you listen to God's thou shalt and thou shalt not. He says it because he cares. Thank you again for joining us in this Bible study. We remind you, if you'd like to follow along in our daily Bible reading, the link below in the description of this video will give you the PDF so you can read right along with us. If you have any other questions or if you'd like information on a Bible study, Contact us with the information provided on the screen before you.